Okay, I got some pretty decent sized fleets, I think. So, where did my ships go? Oh, there are my ships. <laughs> okay, we got 60,000 men there. There, that's gotta do something. Move that over there. Continue. Oh my gosh, we actually have to fight the Russians now. I think here's a good chance because the Russians are really putting themselves into this. They don't have nearly enough troops to actually win. At least not the way they have them all spread out. And mm, more supply ideas. Let's build some more ships. And we'll build... A couple supply brigades, I think. Let's look what's most expensive. Build some guard brigades. Elite brigades. Line infantry. Dragoons. Chasseurs. Horse artillery. And normal artillery. That would be good enough. I think my armies are actually getting stronger the more they're fighting in Poland. Because <laughs> they're not they're getting more reinforcements than they are um casualties. So that's pretty good. There we go, come on, destroy them. Destroy the Russians. Let's see if we can't make peace. Seriously, they won't even accept white peace. <laughs> Russia's in three different sections. They are, there's no way that they can somehow come back from this, I don't think. Unless Russia really destroys me. Right, so I'm thinking next year we'll have our invasion of Russia, which will hopefully lead to us capturing the last uh, provinces we need. Because victory conditions have it that we need. Let's see, what, what do we need? We need. Dominance map mode. So we need to get the territories up here. Right? Do they have any other ones? No, I don't think so. Maybe between that time we should probably grab something off Denmark. Since Denmark's pretty weak. But I 
feel bad because Denmark's a friend. So unless we can get it to become a satellite peacefully, if, that, if there's a way to do that, or we could go to War of Spain and grab Barcelona, I think that would do it as well. So we... Yay, Grand Duchy of Warsaw. Come on, let's destroy the Russians. Russia and it's winter, so I'm gonna stay out of it. So I am just gonna get some powerful armies here. I'm just gonna move my troops further back. Gotta split up our armies, I think. I wonder how good of a how good Napoleon is. Six the maximum for each, probably. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look and see if we can steal some troops from our allies, I guess. Cause, okay, so if we're, if we're going to somehow make, um, be able to invade Russia this year, we are going to need some serious reinforcements, I think. So I have 60,000 here, but I need some troops to remain. Yeah, I can't really use my navy to get you get it, get them there faster, I suppose. So There. That ought to do it. Split this in half. leave 30,000 men to guard against the Austrians, which I know is risky, because we need way more. Actually, I suppose we have this army too. If we somehow, if I wanted to withdraw this, I think this is like 50,000 men, if it's if I start reinforcing it. Hmm. Oh well. There we go. I don't want to lose any ships. Don't know why, but I don't want to risk it. Could have lost, don't want to lose.
let's see, can we get them to no target for a coalition? Do I have to form a coalition somehow? Cause I'm not exactly sure how you go go about doing that. We're reinforcing pretty quickly. Oh, I forgot to move one of these guys out of the way, so he should go there, there, there. There we go. Begin moving our ships south. So I mean we're at war with them. And yes, we are again. We got this little like arc of enemies here. So that's that's not good. Maybe we could get Austria on our side. No, that's probably not going to happen. We could increase our relations. Since I don't think they have anything of, that we really want. Because if they join us, then we are in a very good... We're in very good shape then. Hmm. I don't really care that much about Prussia because Prussia is pretty weak. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll grab Hamburg off Denmark with this army that I've already that I'm starting to gather together here. We got 19 ships. I'll reinforce this army since it's already pretty weak. Whew. Well, let's try this, I guess. Try and bring together some my fleets. Okay. What the what the heck? Oh gosh. Guys, come on. Destroy them. Why oh, I suppose mean, it's spring, so I can go ahead and attack them. Now I think I'm going to focus on destroying all these forces. That will be a perfect setup for um, a drive into Mother Russia. Whoa, 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 where, where, Austria? But they're offering us white peace. Why are they offering us white peace? Okay, I'll accept that. 
That's fine with me. I probably couldn't manage to push her, push them back very easily, anyways. That is wonderful. supply. No. Assault. There we go. Hmm. Why do they want military access? Fine. As long as they don't attack us, so fostering good relations. White peace. Holy smokes. Denmark is beating up on Sweden now. But Sweden's beating up on Denmark at the same time. Kinda crazy. Okay. So that means we're only at war if England, oh, Great Britain, and Russia. That's it. Good, 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 good. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. They have no commander, come on. This is actually pretty much the closest naval battle we're gonna get. So if this, these guys make it, we might actually be able to, are we winning? There's no way. Oh my gosh, we actually might win this battle. Come on, come on almost there. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. We just beat a major British fleet. That is amazing. That, oh my gosh. Can't believe it. That is pretty, pretty good. Look at that. The Battle of Elf Feral. So. Let's try and destroy the rest of their fleet. South Atlantic, come on, chase their fleet. Does actually... Let's see what this means. Does this mean we can actually... Perhaps... We now have a larger navy than the British. This means we can invade England. We can invade... England and we can invade Russia. Oh my gosh. How is all my armies are over by Russia, so meeting England's kind of crazy, except I have one army. My new army is the only one I can um if I was smart I would have moved that guy. Moved Napoleon out of Brestlitosk. If I can get Russia out of the war. Really? I, mean, I could afford to give them, concede some stuff to them, I suppose. At seventy three thousand men. Plus the forty thousand in Italy. So I got a little over a hundred thousand men. And 
We'll accept white piece. This means we are in a great place. We're at war with only the British. We are very close to victory. And we now have naval dominance, I'm pretty sure. So. We're going to move the Grand Armée. The Pas de Calais for invading England. Preparation for an invasion of England. Well, this army's gonna start moving that way as well. I think they're gonna go to Hamburg. So we can grab that. Victory is within sight. They can move a little bit further away. Oh, this actually means I can siege Gibraltar, doesn't it? Well, I'll build up, I'll reinforce, repair my fleet a little bit. And then I'm just gonna look for some more uh, British fleets to destroy. Gonna leave around 60. So it's probably will reinforce around probably 75,000 men, I guess. And I'll leave them there to um, deter a Russian attack. Because I think they will be enough. <laughs> they know they're in trouble. They know they're in trouble now. Well, I think. Let's see, what else do we need? Army march speed, yeah, let's do that. Okay, I think that's a good place to leave it for now. So, if you have any ideas for a strategy, comment below. And if you want to see how this turns out, uh, subscribe.